Good day, Sir Craig and classmates. I am Craig Citizen, and today I will be discussing Chapter 3.2 from our book, Research Methods for Engineers. This chapter tackles on developing a research plan, and my report focuses on finding suitable research questions. So as we all know, research is a systematic process of collecting, analyzing, and interpreting information or so-called process data. And even in our formulating research questions, we need to undergo several steps and procedures. So here are some of the process. First is identifying your research topic. Second, specifying your research problem. Third, determining your research purpose. And last, fourth, is developing your research questions. So the first step is identifying your research topic. So before we start in our journey on conducting a research, first and foremost, we need to identify the topic that we want to study. This may be a broad sub subject matter that needs to be investigated. So it is preferable that the topic that you want or you choose is related to the field of your expertise so that you have already background knowledge and skills on the topic that you have chosen. So in our end, as electrical engineering students of NERSU, we are interested on the topics that are in line with our discipline, which is engineering. So the second step is specifying your research problem. Specify what research problem you want to investigate. These are the areas of concern or the conditions that needs to be improved. So the literature review or the archival of literature is very important during this stage. This is to know whether or not the study or the topic that you want to address is already existing. In review of related literature, we can browse, for example, in the internet or look for recent journal papers, maybe in the library. So a good scientific paper will include a discussion of the results and some suggestions for further work in some related topics. This is an excellent opportunity to, the, to develop a research question. It may be that the further work section of the paper clearly indicates the nature of further work required and a further research question can be developed directly from the work. So what does this mean? So this means that when we are doing our research study, it does not depend on the background knowledge and skills of the researchers, but also we can look for alternative, for example, some resources on the, earth, on the internet for some related topics, or for example, in the library for some recent journals. Also, we need to make sure to check if the previous researchers continued the research thing. So, for example, you have a research thing that is somewhat the same from the previous researchers thing. So, as researchers, it is our responsibility and duty to investigate whether or not the previous researchers continued their study. So it is not unusual because it at least takes six months from submitting your papers to be published. So maybe the span of six months, the previous researchers continued their study. So the third step is to determine your research purpose. So what is the research purpose? So it is the intent or the objective of your study. 
it should answer the questions. Is the topic important? Is there significance in conducting this research study? Or is it researchable? Or can be investigated for collection of data? So these are some of the questions that need to be answered when you are doing or when you are formulating your research purpose. So just like for example, if you want to pursue a research that has already existed, then you need to use research alternatives. So below on my PowerPoint presentation are the distinguishing features that allows additional developments in the same thing. For example, if we have the same thing with the previous researchers and you want to pursue this study. So first is different equipment, which allows improved accuracy and or independent validation of the previous results. Next is more powerful or more appropriate modeling tools, which will verify the results with improved accuracy and allow extended modeling beyond the initial results that were published. So these two features means that you will have better results because of the equipments that you will be using to improve your research study. So if you have those high-end equipments of you, or you have the more appropriate modeling tools, then maybe you will have more accurate and improved results than the previous research study. So next feature is a different researcher skill set which allows the previous results to be reviewed and analyzed from a different perspective and a unique cross-disciplinary team with a variety of different skills which provide new applications in different research disciplines. So these two features means that, for example, there is a study that needs the skills and knowledges of a mechanical engineer and also it needs an assistance of an electrical engineer so maybe if you have these both mechanical and electrical engineers in your team so therefore you have cross-disciplinary team or you have set of different skills and You have sets of different skills and knowledges from your members. So these features provide wider range of knowledge and understanding on the research and improve skills of the researchers because of the knowledges and skills from your members. So next is a novel idea to modify and improve the previous work. So, a novel idea to modify and improve the previous work. So, if you have this idea that maybe if you will have some modification on the previous researcher's project, maybe on the materials they used or the process they have done, then it will improve the research, then you can do so. You have the freedom to modify and change for the benefit of others. If the outcomes of the prelim preliminary investigations are positive and encouraging, so then we can proceed to developing the research questions. So the research question becomes the guide for the research plan. It has the additional advantage of reminding the research team of the ultimate goal of the research. Any additional research directions, tools, etc. must be matched to the research question with a fundamental question. Is this relevant to finding an answer that, to the research question? So the research question is the guide when we will be 
creating our research plan. So the research questions focuses on mainly on the research objectives. So developing a research question is a typical strategy for concentrating a research project because research questions is the main focus of the research project. So next. So here we have some examples. An antenna team aims to design new antennas that will improve the range of small wireless sensors used in a nursing home. The assessment team from the research granting authority might want to know the current and intended application of the wireless sensors and how an increased range will improve the lives of aged people living independently. So we have more examples. So when investigating the use of wireless sensor networks to monitor and optimize the industrial processes. So we have here a research question, how can wireless sensor networks be integrated into existing industrial control systems? And what potential impact might this have on the overall performance of these systems? Next example, investigating the effectiveness effectiveness of using renewable energy sources to power remote off-grid communities. So what are the key factors affecting the feasibility and effectiveness of using renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, or hydropower to power remote off-grid communities? So those were some of the examples of research study that has formulated um, a research questions. So that ends my report. Thank you so much for listening.